What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So I'm actually in station uh, San Antonio right now. I just made a video that probably came out before this one. I'll link it in the description, uh, teaching how to get around San Antonio station. But I wanna go to Station Sur Americana from San Antonio. So I'm walking up these stairs. And the reason I wanna go there because there's a store called Jumbo, which is a bigger supermarket. And they tend to have more other types, other varieties of food, like more options from the States. One thing I love, I love uh, t dill pickles, whole dill pickles. And here in Colombia, it's not very popular to find pickles, man. You can find them, but the, the little tiny, the tiny ones that you put the toothpick, whatever. And they're usually sweet. They have sweet pickles. They don't have dill. And I think in this store, they have it. So I'm gonna go check it out in Jumbo. Try to find my dill pickles, the big, the big jar. And buy me some, yeah? Some kosher, possibly. So y'all stay tuned. Let's go shopping. So as I've said in the other video I made about San Antonio Station, this this line here is connecting to San Antonio. It's part of the T, and it goes towards San Javier. Okay. Now that's this that's the train right there. It's coming. You see it, and it's actually gonna stop. This is the last station. It stops here. Everybody on the train is gonna get off on that side, and then we're gonna load on from this side. There we go. So riding the metro is super easy y'all don't be afraid of it it's cheap too it's so cheap and it's a good way to get around yeah so let's go let's get everybody off and let's get back on all right guys i'm getting off at sudamericana that's the closest uh that's the station to the jumbo that's closest to where i live so let's go check it out in sudamericana i've done a video here walking around it's actually a really nice neighborhood so y'all haven't checked that video out check it out it's nice <laughs> look it up all right let's get let's carry on guys let's go to Jumbo and let's go find those dill pickles man because that's what I'm craving I'm pretty used to Colombian food by now but sometimes I miss I miss some stuff from the states you know and that's like a nice little snack when you're kind of hungry but you don't want to eat too much but you just want to snack on something I think it's good All right, let's go let's ride your bicycles here's where you park the bikes actually the motorcycles you park the motorcycles here and the bicycles they used to have a huge parking spot for bicycles over there but they're starting to build this building, which I have no idea what it's gonna be. We'll see when it comes out. We'll see what happens. But let's go check out the store, see what kind of goodies they have. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be able to film inside. If I can, I will. If I can, I'll talk to you when I'm out, yeah? Things are closing down here, and that's the movie theater, and it's closed. Do you guys think the movies are gonna last this uh, pandemic we're going through? I don't know, I hope so, because I miss, I miss going to the movies and eating popcorn. Yeah, there's the cinema too bad so guys i'll say it's like a walmart here almost like a walmart so the food is on that side over there but i want to stop filming because they're gonna scold me okay check it out so i found here's sauerkraut here's another type of sauerkraut and here's the pickles so this brand here looks like it's from uh germany Ger yeah it's a german brand and at 19,990, i'm hoping that's uh sour because it says pecan so i'm thinking that's spicy We'll see, I wanna get that one. Check it out guys, that's the Cola Pola. That's a, a drink that's beer mixed with soda pop. It's actually quite delicious. Try it out. All right guys, so I got my, my dill pickles and other things as well. And I was, I bought one of these bags here because they get the option, get one of these bigger bags or buy, use a small, a super small plastic bag, which was like super tiny. And that was for 50, 50 pesos. And this was for 1,000 pesos. So either have about six or seven super tiny bags or this big bag. Strategy, man. Marketing strategy. They're doing good. They're saving the planet. I like that. So now I got to walk home. I got about a 25, 30 minute walk home carrying this bag, which weighs about, I would say 15 pounds because of the heavy jars. It's just another way to, to burn calories and to, to get your steps in and stuff here in Colombia. So that's one of the beautiful things about Colombia. So yep, I'm going to end the video here. Keep it short. You guys have a wonderful day. See y'all next video. Hope you like. I hope you like this one. Yeah. Take care. Check it out, guys. So there were some girls picking this fruit off a tree back that way, and there's a lot of these trees out here that have this fruit here. Check it out, that fruit. And I asked them. I said, "Is it edible?" And they're like, "Yeah." And they gave me one to try because they're eating them. I tell you what, it tastes like uh, it tastes like a pear and the flavor of rose, like roses. So rose. Have you ever tried rose petals? and a pear 
and it's freaking delicious watch mm. if y'all say if y'all see this tree around Medellin that has these kind of fruits and they're everywhere give it a try it's delicious my god mm. wow they're and right now they're ripe we're in july so they're ripe right now i want to start picking a bunch of them and take them home they're free too yeah take care all right you see y'all next video yeah take care